What's up, YouTube? ODST General back again with another Halo VR VR chat thing here, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I am trying something new out, and I am going to try and use the microphone in the Rift headset. I noticed that the last time I played the, uh, the VR chat thing and was showing you guys the Pillar of Autumn, uh, that it came through very quiet as I sat a little bit further away from my microphone than usual. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to, uh, to check out some more worlds. Uh, once again, we are in the, uh, ODST drop pod hangar bay here. Now they've added some new stuff here, uh, and some stuff that I didn't see like last time, like you can light this up and they've got like some mirrors and you can pick up some more weapons that you couldn't pick up last time. Um, so they've got a bunch of new stuff in there. Um, but I'm not really going to show off the, the other new stuff because they're supposed to be adding... Uh, a couple of cool things. I actually happened to be in the room when the, the guy who imported this world uh, was talking about it. And he said he's going to try and add functionality where you can sit in the draw pod and trigger the draw pods to turn around. And it will uh, slide this bay door back. And then you'll be able to like see down and out the uh, ship. I'm not exactly sure how that's going to work. You can currently already sit in the draw pod. And you can close the door on it if I reach up here. I can... Uh, I can close the door. So that functionality is already in. I don't know if that was in the last time I played, uh, but it is in now. But uh, like I said, we're not going to check that out yet. So let's go ahead. Let's get into it. There's a bunch of worlds for Halo. Uh, I kind of talked about this, and you guys seem to have a pretty positive reaction. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to search. Um, so there's a few different worlds. Some of these I've checked out. A lot of these I haven't. So like I've been to Blood Gulch. Um, you know, I haven't been to like most of these others. The red versus blue avatars is kind of pointless because it's just avatars and there's not really anything else there to look at. I think the first one we're going to go to though is this hangar of operations. I just chucked it out. Uh, this is a brand new one. It must have just come up today, maybe yesterday. And uh, there's some pretty neat stuff. I didn't really go through it, but looking at it, there was a bunch of um, like there's like pelicans and a frigate and the, the scorpion tank. So I'm not sure what else there is because I didn't really go off like the initial platform we spawn in on. So let's go ahead. Let's check this out. Um, see what you guys think of this. Now, none of these other areas seem quite as cool as the Pillar of Autumn to me, except for the the prepare to drop, the, uh, the ODST operations room or armory, whatever you want to call it. That one is pretty neat. It's got a lot of fun functionality. Most of these other areas are pretty cool to explore in VR, but there isn't much functionality to them, at least not yet. Maybe these uh, the, whoever's importing them in will create more. We'll see. Uh, so I'm sitting down right now. But uh, I'm not sure if I can open this. No, I can't open it. Really bright yellow door, like obnoxiously bright. Uh, what else do we got going on here? Something's appearing and disappearing there. That was kind of interesting. Something, uh, there's something up there that's like flying around. There, I saw it again. That's weird. I don't know what that is. It's probably just at the uh, edge of my vision, I'm thinking. We've got a couple warthogs here. One of the two of them's floating. These warthogs are really awesome to see up close. Um, they've got these on another level. Let's go ahead. Oh, yeah. So, see, yeah, we're sitting in the warthog. Man, imagine this in VR. I mean, it's the hiding feels kind of off a little bit for me, but. I mean, just that'd be so cool to drive a warthog in first person and, oh, table's there. This is why we can't have nice things. Um, but yeah, that'd be really cool. Can you sit in the back at all? I can hop up in the back of the bed, but I can't sit there. It doesn't look like. Uh, what was that? Something just popped up. It's uh, interactable. Oh, I can, I can pick up the whole warthog. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's a little bit ridiculous. What do we got in here? We've got a, uh, a computer terminal. Um, I'm, it says to, to, to pull the trigger to use it. I'm pulling the trigger. Nothing's happening. That I can tell. Um, I'm not sure what this is. That looks like it might be a seat or something. Nope, fell out the window. Uh, weapons are unfortunately not interactable as far as I can tell. I'm trying to get down here a little bit further. Um, my sensors aren't detecting that movement. I'm starting to get close to my table with these snipers. So, yeah, kind of goofy stuff going on here with some of these weapons. Uh, these look like the same ones used in the prepare to drop level, so I feel like the, some of these should be interactable. I got a got a crate. 
We got the Type 14 mine. That's the uh, the bomb for multiplayer. Can't uh, can't grab it. Might be too low again, probably. I don't know what this is about the cane from Citizen Kane. <laughs> um, let's see what else there is here. Got a big crate here. What we got? We got the uh, what is this? The oh, this isn't it. That's uh, from my understanding. This should be called the AIE something or other. I can't remember the number designation. It's definitely not an M two four seven. That I know for sure. Uh, what we got here? We got a bunch more stuff on the other side here that I kind of skipped over. We've got like a medical crate. We've got another big, uh, big crate carrying something. I'm not sure what this one is. There's a big button on the side. Oh, hello. That spawns in warthogs. With guns. Can I pick this one up? Uh, yeah, I didn't want to do that. Can I? Can I get in the back of this? I can. Oh, okay, that's cool. So, let's see here. Let's spawn one more of these in just a second. I'm not sure. That looks like the out of bounds thing for uh, for uh, sand trap. I think maybe. Not really sure. I can sit on this. Okay, nothing too crazy there. What happens if I? Oh, it's a, it's a teleporter. Okay, that's neat. Can I go back? I cannot go back, can I? Darn it. Uh, where's the hangar here? It's uh, it's back over that way. Well, let's check this stuff out while we're here. What we got? We got a pelican there. Uh, I got the frigate there, the frigate. Oh man, there's there's the bridge over there, and there's more warthogs over there. So we're gonna go check that. I have a feeling. That this whole episode, I was thinking I was going to check out a few worlds, but given how much interactivity there is in this one, this might be the whole episode on just this uh, this world here. Uh, let's go ahead and check it out. I'm wondering if this pelican is interactable. I'm really hoping it is. It doesn't look like it, but let's see here. If I reach up, can I do anything with it? No, it doesn't look like it. At least not yet. Maybe later on. If this is done by the same guy that... Uh, that did the uh, the prepared drop mission, which I'm thinking it probably is, given the the design of the weapons. Although they probably pulled them from the same place, um, there will probably be more interactability that comes with it as time goes on too. So we'll have to wait and see on that, though. Not really sure. Uh, I really wish I could have entered the Pelican. That would have been really awesome. Uh, let's uh, let's go check out these Hornets. And then we'll we'll go over to the frigate and see what's going on there. And I guess we'll come back and work our way back to the hangar. Uh, you will notice in the background something I'm really wanting to come to Operation Trebuchet is the uh, the naval carrier there. That's uh, looking like it was probably imported directly from Halo Three, uh, as much of this probably was. Um, currently, it seems to be no interactability with uh, with the Hornet here. Just uh, just kind of for looks currently. Probably be able to sit in the um, sit in the cockpit later on or something. I'm sure. Just for right now, really fancy look in here. Uh, let's see if we can get a look inside the cockpit. Nothing too. Uh, cockpit doesn't look super amazing, but it looks all right. I mean, it's just you know, like I said, this is probably imported directly out of Halo Three. I'm sure. Uh. Yeah, this is this is pretty big. I mean, you know, it looks. It looks a little bit smaller than I would have actually expected, like looking at this in person. Because sizing wise, all this stuff seems pretty pretty much to scale for what you'd expect. Maybe maybe a little bit smaller than what it should be, uh, relative to like real life, as most things are in VR by just a tad bit. But um, it's pretty darn close, and it just it feels. Feels a little bit small, maybe. A little bit smaller than I would have expected, like I said. Um, cannot interact with this Warthog, unfortunately. Get up on the uh, the gun. Pretend we're on the gun here. Hmm. Oh, that's right. Yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, definitely definitely would love to play Halo in VR. It'd probably be really tough to do, though. Uh, we've got the pull for the turret. If I go in here, am I going to be able to get out? No, nope, because I can't go in there in the first place. All that goes through to the ground. Probably, uh, probably should take that off the model. That's got to be the 
Halo 3 model have the, uh, I'm trying to think, I can't think of it now. Did the Halo 3 model have the uh, external gun port or gun turret? I think it did. I know the Reach model. No, 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 I'm questioning it. I can't remember if the Reach model did or not anymore. There's so many different versions of the tank in Halo. It, I feel kind of embarrassed for not being able to remember that, but I don't really, I've, I haven't played Halo multiplayer like on the consoles in so long. I did play a little teeny tiny bit of Halo 2 last night. But not very much. And I got my butt horribly kicked. It's like the first time I played again. It's, it's really bad. Uh, let's go check out the elephants. The really, really rusty looking elephants. Got some uh, some more containers and stuff over here. Something that looked like that spawned in. Uh, it occurs to me I didn't set up a private instance so somebody else could join. Well, uh, hopefully not though. Uh, we've got some more stuff on the wall. We've got a uh, crate for carrying body armor. It looks like the Halo 2 style. And then we've got, uh, the map of Sand Trap. And then we've got some other data there. It looks like status stuff for the, uh, for this. They've got the mongoose. Mongoose you cannot ride on as well. Static. Uh, you'd think that would be one of the things they would have actually set you up to drive around on in this, since you can drive the warthogs. But, uh... Hey, you know, whatever. doesn't matter. Yeah, the elephant. Pretty, pretty cool vehicle. Um, not really something that makes sense in the in the sense of the games. I mean, it's kind of cool. I mean, it gets a little bit of use in Halo 3's multiplayer, and it kind of works out for those purposes. But, uh, you know, it's not as much as it probably could be. Not as much as it would actually in, like, the real Halo universe where it's meant to be like a recovery vehicle and stuff. Oh, that's what that is. Okay, it's it's kind of dipping in and out. It's a little too far away to see from here. But it looks like an orbital elevator, maybe? It looks kind of weird. I'm not sure what it's doing. It might be because of how far away it is uh, over there. I'll have to get over that way and check it out in just a minute. Got a uh, way beat up Pelican. Wings ripped off and everything. This one we can get inside of. So we uh, can't get through the door. We can poke our head through, but nothing in here. Got a uh, less speed up pelican. Yeah, some destroyed warthogs. Oh, interesting. Well, you can sit on these, but that really doesn't make any sense the way you're sitting on it. That makes a little bit more sense. I don't know why you can sit on the destroyed warthogs. But hey, who cares? Uh, I got a barrier here, but I can't go inside of it and it's floating. Yeah, this this still needs a lot of work, but like I said, I'm pretty sure this was literally just created yesterday. No. No. No, it couldn't be. Could it? Can I? Oh, gosh. Things are going wrong. I'm not positive, but I'm really getting strong vibes that I can operate this pelican here. Now, that is the trick is, of course, if I can get low enough here. So if I go back, I can go back out the door. I just got to see if there's uh, like a block for interactability. It really sounds like it's going, though. Let's see if I can find anything from the outside here. You can hear the engine strumming, but I don't see anything like any way to interact with it. I mean, you can get into the into the bay. Maybe you can't fly it, but it's certainly I get the vibe that I can. Like the the door is down. It's carrying a warthog. I just don't see any way, shape, or form of actually being able to pilot it. Um, you know, I, I kind of, my arm's getting a little bit, like, tracking loss down there as I get down low. There's a, a desk there. But, uh, you know, as far as I can reach and stuff, there isn't any sort of, uh, any sort of tracking or, well, not tracking, but, uh, but, like, use of this. Still, it's really cool, though, getting into the, uh, into the cockpit and stuff. They might add, you know, functionality later on if it's not in here now. Um, like I said, it could be here now. I'm just maybe not being able to reach far enough or something uh, with the current tracking I have. So I'm in kind of a confined space. So I'm going to go through the top again here. There we go. 
All right. Well, let's get out of here. Let's uh, let's go back to where we were. Finish checking out the rest of this stuff, and then we'll go from there. So that's right. We're gonna check out the warthog. We've got uh, got a few more teleporters. It looks like a few more of the drop pods for the weapons, and then we've got an actual teleporter, which I'm not really sure where that goes. But let's uh, let's get a warthog. Let's hop on the back first. I just want to see what happens if we hop on the back. So yeah, I mean just. Holds us into the gun turret, you know, kind of puts us into a sitting position, so it looks a little bit weird. But, you know, you're actually sitting up here, and if somebody's, somebody else, another player, could hop in there and start driving around, that would be pretty cool, even if it's a little bit off. Can we sit in the other seat on the, the passenger side, though? I'm willing to bet we can. Oh, yeah, absolutely. They're sitting fully down, properly sitting. Let's pretend like I'm driving. A little bit loud. Like, not where it's bothering me, but I have a, a feeling you guys can probably hear, barely hear me. Um, kind of causing some issues with my avatar here. That's that's kind of obnoxious. And, like, my avatar, like, went and jumped, like, way up on me. Okay, uh, well, that is really all this world has to offer. Oh, the Warhog is still linked to me, interestingly enough. Well, we'll just do that. That fixes that problem. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's anything else to check out. We'll go over here. We'll just, uh, we'll check over there, see if there's anything worth note. Um, there's, there's a couple more things. It'd be cool to be able to get on the carrier, but I don't think that's going to be a thing yet. Um, as it's got like the Wombat and Pelicans and stuff up there and those are normally 2D images in the actual Halo 3 and they don't look like they're actual models just here either. Um, that I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be the orbital elevator. It doesn't look like it the closer I've gotten. Now I can see more of it, but there's some weird stuff going on with the model there. So, uh, and it's barely in draw distance. There's, uh, yeah, there's nothing I can interact with here and nothing on the other side. So yeah, that is, uh, that's everything here. Let me, uh, let me check the time real quick here, guys. We're at 18 minutes. You know what? Let's go ahead. Let's check out one more world. Let's, uh, let's go to worlds. We'll, ch we'll check out one more. We got time for, uh, a quick world, I think maybe even two. So let's see here. Let's, uh, let's do blood gulch. Why not? I mean, that's the first one on the list. Um, I already know I've been to Blood Gulch. There's not a whole lot to see here. Uh, so it's just going to be really checking it out for the sake of VR. Unless they've changed something since my last visit, which I doubt they have. Uh, there's really only so much you can do with uh, with Blood Gulch. Uh, I'm pretty sure these weapons down here. There we go. Yep. Weapons interactable. This one. Oh, hey, you can actually fire this one. I didn't try this out last time. So it shows the... Uh, whoop, grab down my hand. Shows the ammo count here. Uh, obviously can fire, release the drop, just like every other weapon. So that's really cool. Uh, you probably can't kill anybody or anything with it, although I do know that there's like a, a Sword Art Online world, which I haven't been able to find again, which uh, you could actually like swing a sword and like kill monsters they had there. The monsters really couldn't fight you back, but it was pretty neat nonetheless, so... Yeah, it reloads itself. So that's pretty cool. That's uh, that's actually really awesome. Uh, I guess this is the guy who created it. You can contact him on Discord if you have any suggestions. Oh, they have uh, they have a Sarge avatar. That I don't remember that being there last time. So yeah, the original red versus blue Sarge. That's pretty cool. That's uh, that's a neat avatar. I'd totally rock that if I wasn't, you know, ODST general. Uh, we've got the cliffs up there. We've got, oh, guess I'm going down into the base unless I stop and do that. Okay, got this up here. Let's go check this out because this is a really cool view. This gets uh, pretty high up. 
Uh, really steep terrain, you know, you don't really realize how steep it is in the actual Halo, but when you're in first person in a VR set, it certainly feels a lot higher than it was. Let's hop up on this rock here. So yeah, this is a really awesome view of the uh, of the canyon. You know, we've got Halo above us and the, uh, the gas giant, and there's the system sun and stuff. So really, really awesome. I really hope that they make it so like people can actually like fight each other in here and stuff. That would be really cool being able to like do VR chat and like actually like basically play like a really less good version of Halo's multiplayer. But it would be cool because it would be in VR. Uh, as we run along here, you know, it's 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 Blood Gulch. It's a lot like I said, it feels a lot steeper than in the the actual Halo game. Uh, but, you know, based off of how the models look and everything, I'm pretty sure this is, like, directly pulled from Halo CE. Um, it's been quite a while since I've played, like I said, really mostly any Halo multiplayer. Um, so I might be a little bit out of, out of date on my memory, but uh, I'm pretty sure this is pulled directly from Halo 1. And uh, let's uh, just, we'll take a quick peek around. We'll look at blue base. There's probably not much different there. Um, Turn out you got your little uh, ledge here and everything. And we'll hop up over here. I think there's just more sniper rifles on this base here. You know, uh, probably, you know, as you expected, blue avatar is there. We've got, like I said, more sniper rifles, as we figured. Coming out here, we've got uh, the teleporter, so you guys got to see that at work, just like the actual Halo teleporter, bringing us right up here, which we haven't been to yet. So this is about it, guys. This is the extent of the map. It's an older map. Obviously, it's ported from Halo 1, as it seems. Uh, so graphically speaking, it feels a little bit of, out of date, but it's a classic Blood Gold, so it's iconic. Uh, you know, I just, like I said, I'd love to recreate some Halo multiplayer on this at some point. Uh, that'd be cool to actually get that, like, rock, rocking, like, actual, like, functional weapons that did damage. Maybe one day. Uh, who knows? You know, I think I think probably the closest thing we have to something like Ready Player One is um, is actually VR chat, as weird as that sounds. You know, this, like, free, wor or, like, free game where, you know, you can go in and you can basically import, like, any costume or armor, whatever you want. And you got this whole variety of worlds and stuff. And when you think about it, VRChat is the closest thing to this, which is sad. Uh, because VRChat's kind of toxic. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think. Uh, were you excited to see this stuff once again, guys? I know that there was a pretty positive reaction the last time, but you never know if that's going to hold. So let me know your comments and, well, your thoughts in the comments below. And all that stuff. And as always, guys, thank you for tuning in. I am sorry for those of you who wanted to watch that Lumoria mission uh, that was supposed to release today, Monday, the day I'm recording this. But I hope you guys enjoyed the other video you got instead. Uh, I will see you guys next time. Take it easy.